The sun in Sicily is scorching hot. The air is stifling and oppressive. Like many other cities across Italy, Palermo, the capital, has been placed under a red alert warning. That means the heat poses a threat to everybody. But it's the elderly who are most at risk. We went to the beach the other day and my husband got sunstroke. He was unwell. He became very cold. We burnt under our feet because the sand was too hot. The Ministry of Health has asked hospitals to activate the heat code. It's something similar to what Italy did during Covid, designating a separate branch of medical staff and a specific procedure to deal with patients who come in with symptoms caused by the heat. We are seeing an increase in admission of elderly patients for medical problems related to the heat wave, such as headache, tachycardia, dehydration and confusional state. The priority is to rehydrate them quickly. I'm worried because the people that will pay the price are the most vulnerable and frail. Italians are used to hot summers, but not this hot. The authorities here are warning people to prepare for one of the most intense heat waves of all time. And it's not just Italy. Most of southern Europe is experiencing scorching temperatures. Spain is facing consecutive heat waves, with temperatures reaching 44 degrees yesterday. In Greece, several wildfires broke out in the outskirts of Athens. And this is Switzerland. The authorities here are still trying to put out this blaze in the Alps. These extreme temperatures are sweeping across the globe. It's often the most vulnerable who struggle when it's this hot. Here in Las Vegas, thousands of people don't have permanent shelter. We're surviving, but we're sweating a lot. <laughs> you know, we're lucky that we have um, an access to shelter. Periods of intense heat are becoming more frequent and more severe. And with this heat wave expected to continue for the next few days, there is no respite in sight.